everybody. Thanks for coming to my channel. Thanks for watching. Um, I have harsh fluorescent lighting today. Sorry. Really, I'm, I'm really more sorry about it than you are probably. But um, we're gonna make soap today. We sure are. But I wanted to start right here. I've been making soap for probably like three years and some change. And in my first year of making soap, I made a lot of mistakes. I would go gung-ho, I would get my ingredients and make soap and it would either turn out ugly or uh, wouldn't, or would seize or would have problems. So I learned pretty quickly that when I wanna make soap and I'm on a deadline, like for soap of the month, by the way, I'm gonna talk about September soap of the month soap. So if you're a soap of the month person and you don't want a spoiler, go watch Netflix. Don't watch, just stop. You can watch it later. So, preparation is really key. I am not a girl that likes to prepare. I like to jump in. I don't stick my toe in the pool. I stick my whole body in there. So, I had a lot of, I wasted a lot of money, wasted a lot of time, and had a lot of frustration when I first started making soap. But I started trying to figure out what I wanted to do each month. So I had to do that in order to cost out and to make sure that I wasn't gonna lose a ton of money when I did Soap in the Month Club. So I have a, have a list of the things that I wanna do every month. We'll do August really quickly. I've, I've, like, I've had to um, cancel three vacations this year. Three, three, three. I have one scheduled in September. I'm praying to Jesus I can take it. They've all been to Disney. I can't believe it's, it'll be a year since I've been to Disney, and I know, I know that I'm entitled with that, but I'm grateful for it. I'm super grateful. Disney saves my life. But I, I knew I wanted to do something for August, like a vacation, because I had to cancel mine. So I came up with this. So I, I get a piece of watercolor paper, and I start thinking about what I want my soap to be. And I wanted to call this vacation like the go-go song, it's a summertime soap, so it needs to be groovy for shaving. So I'm gonna put some kale and clay in there for some slip. Um, I want it to smell like summer. So like coconut, fruit, um, like, a, like suntan lotion mixed with a cocktail. That's vacation for me. Um, I want the colors to be vibrant. I, I want it to, I want it to, to have the, the yellow of the sun and the pink like a flamingo and the blue of the water and, and the white like some fluffy clouds. I want all of that in the soap. So I gotta think about those colors. Um, first of all, I gotta think about my fragrance. So I want this swirly business in here, so I know I gotta pick a fragrance oil that acts right. And I have used Jamaican Me Crazy before from Nature's Garden. It acts right. Okay, I know I'm gonna put kale and clay in it, so that's gonna make it um, kind of get thick fast. And I don't want that, so I know I'm gonna have to soap well below 90 degrees um, in order to have that little bit of uh, runniness so I can get some swirls. I also kind of want some glycerin rivers in here because I think they look like magic. And my vacations are magic. So I'm gonna use titanium dioxide for the white. I'm gonna mix um, magenta and a little bit of uh, red raspberry mica from Brambleberry. And I'm gonna use, for my yellow, is Firefly Mica from Nurture Soaps. I love that color, I love it very much. I'm never gonna not have that color. Um, and aqua, there are lots of like blue tides and those kind of aqua colors. But I like to take um, equal amounts of green vibrance and blue vibrance from Nurture Soap. It makes the prettiest aqua really beautiful. Um, it's my favorite and that's what I'm gonna do. I love to mix colors. Look, and I can't remember who it is. Somebody's got a mica mixing. It might be Nurture Soap that has a, um, a mica, mix a mica and see what color you get kind of thing. That's big fun to play with if you like colors. Um, so this is what I thought my, my soap was gonna look like. Solid, little wave on the top, ba, 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 ba. great. Then I went to Target on my, on my day I get to leave my house. I went to Target and on the end cap was an ice mold. There was a little tiny pineapple. Kismet, y'all, kismet. So um, 
This is what my soap turned out like. I made a little melt and pour pineapple to put on the top. Glycerin rivers are in there. Magic. Does it look exactly like the soap? Nope. But it acted right and I knew what to expect. I did it, I piped this so I could set the pineapple on top instead of swirling it over. Um, it smells just like banana boat, man. I love it. Um, so that's how it turned out. Easy breezy lemon squeezy. I was ready for it. I had everything in front of me. It went well. So we're gonna do the same thing for September. So I'm thinking September, what is that? It's like fall, like we're getting into the fall time. So when I think of fall, what do I think of? I think of like, like maybe um, some mythology. So I was thinking of Persephone, the story of Persephone. And if you don't know the story of Persephone, um, I'm gonna give it to you. If you don't wanna know it, just fast forward. I'm good with that and then we'll get right to the soap making. But so Zeus, God of the Sun, and Demeter, goddess of harvest and prosperity. They have a little fling. I don't think they got married or anything, I, just, I think they just had a fling. And they had a daughter, Persephone, who was beautiful and pure and delightful. And everybody loved her. She got along with animals, she got along with people, she got along, she was like, even the nymphs and the fairies, they all thought she was groovy. So one day, Hades, who's the god of the underworld, he's up top and he's looking around, seeing what's going on and he sees Persephone, I don't know, like, playing in a field with some nymphs or something. And he's like, whoa, she's something. So he keeps coming back and taking a look at her and he falls in love with her. So he goes to, goes to Zeus and he says, hey, I wanna marry Persephone. And Zeus is like, well, you know, you're one of the more stable gods, got a lot of money, um, pretty solid. Uh, okay, I I'm down with that. But he doesn't tell Demeter does not tell her, or Demetra, I don't know. I had a couple professors in college that said it different ways. Um, so Hades comes up out of the ground with his big old black chariot and grabs Persephone and takes her to the underworld. And Demeter can't find her daughter, can't find her anywhere. So she's looking around and she's asking everybody, where's Persephone, have you seen Persephone? And she finally finds a farmer who saw the whole thing. And he tells her. She goes to Zeus and says, what the hell? And he's like, look, you know, he's a stable God. She says, I have been bamboozled. I don't appreciate this. I'm not having it. Nothing's growing. Nothing's coming up. Nobody's eating. You can all starve to death until I get my Persephone back. And so she did. Everything started dying, crops withered in the fields, trees dropped their leaves, started getting cold, um, icy winds blew. Meanwhile, underground, or in the underworld, I don't know if it's really underground, but in the underworld, Hades, is being, he's not being ugly to Persephone, he loves her. And he's trying to be kind to her and gives her gifts. He actually even like pulls a throne up next to him and says, look, I'm giving you equal status. You're now the goddess of the underworld. You are now my queen. You're the queen of the underworld. And Persephone's like, well, you know, I kind of really want to see my mom. And he's like, look, I'm even going to open up a branch of the underworld that's for really groovy people, like really terrific, great people. It'll be like, it's like the heaven of the underworld. And you're going to be in charge of it. She's like, eh. So one day she's walking around in a gardener or somebody, I don't know, somebody's got a pomegranate, comes up to her and says, look at these great pomegranates, I think they did really well this year. And she's so hungry that she eats some of the pomegranate. Now, she's been very careful not to eat anything in the underworld, because if you eat the food in the underworld, you gotta stay. So she hasn't eaten anything. But those pomegranate seeds were so beautiful, she put them in her mouth and she just only ate three. So, in the meantime, there's famine on the earth. And Zeus like pleads to Hades, come on, let her visit her mom a little bit because everybody's, we're having a problem up here. So Persephone is released to see her mother. And it was a really great reunion. And Zeus said, she's got to go back. She's got to go back. And she says, Demetrius says, no, she's not going back. She's not, 
Persephone says, I kind of love him. You know, he's been nice to me. I'm falling in love with him. She goes, no, you're not going back. You got Stockholm syndrome. I think that's what the thing is. And I'm not having it. You're not going back down there. So here comes Hades. He's got the pomegranate in his hand. And he says, she has to come back. She ate our food. And Demeter says, I, you know what? That nobody's eaten. Nobody's eaten again. So Zeus is like, okay, we got to come to compromise. How many seats did she eat? And Hades said she ate three seats. So he goes back and he comes in. He says, um, okay, here's the deal. For six months, she can stay up here with her mother. But for three months, she goes back underground with Hades. Each seed represents a month of the year. And so that's why they say for three months of winter, the fall and the winter, um, nothing grows and all ice is over because a mama bear don't make no deals. So that's the story behind our soap. So we're gonna call this soap Persephone's Farewell. So I want it to be earthy and musky, kind of sensual and sultry. Um, so I'm gonna use Narcissus from Nature's Garden. I like that smell. I'm gonna put a little patchouli in it because I want a little extra earthy. Um, I know it discolors to light tan, so I'm gonna help it a little bit by adding some little something something to it to make it be a color that I want it to be. Um, the colors I think I want it to be are kind of gold, and I'm gonna do an, an in the pot swirl with a little bit of mocha or copper, so it's kind of that swirly fall color. And then I'm gonna do a drop swirl of um, this of uh, activated charcoal. Uh, the red also in a drop swirl that will represent the pomegranate. So the black is representing um, the underworld. Um, the yellow will represent uh, Zeus. The browns and, and the uh, and the coppers will represent Demeter in her um, drawing stuff up stage. And of course the, the red of the pomegranate. Um, I want this to be luxurious because you know we're talking goddesses and gods, okay? So. I want to put a of silk in here. I'm going to put some shea in here. And I'm also going to use a little coat milk because it's Greek, you know? Okay, so that's what it's going to, that's what I'm going to try to make it look like. I also made some melt and pour leaves and, and kind of gilded them a little bit to put on top so it looks like the fall, the ground in the fall. That's where we're headed with this. This is my plan. I've got my stuff all in place in the order that I need it. So let's go make soap. Okay, here we are, making soap. Um, got my oils right here. They're uh, a little under 100 degrees. So that's, that's good, I really, I should wait longer, but I'm not. So um, I just wanna show you when I say Tussa silk. This is what Tussa silk looks like. It's kind of fibery. And you just chippy chop, 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 get a little haircut, get a little trim into a little, container and then um, you will you put that put that right in your lye water and the heat from and the lye melts it so kind of gives a, a nice um, smoothness and silkiness to your soap silkiness um, so I have my my lye look milk holy crap that that's what color it turns when you put milk with lye okay so I'm going to pour my lye, they say down the stick bender, you don't, you don't want bubbles, you really don't, but I just don't seem to be able to help to get bubbles. I'll just deal with it as it comes. Alright. Oh, yeah. Oops. Do as I say, not as I do. That's what my mom always used to say to me. Okay. So we really just want to kind of get this to emulsification, which just basically means the oil is not separating on the top. So we're going to do a cocktail of, of stirring and actually I think that looks pretty good right there. And you see how, you probably can't, but see how it's kind of clinging to the, the mixer thing and it doesn't separate? That's what I want to have. So, so I'm gonna pour this off. Pour it off! This will be my one for my activated charcoal. 
Yes, like that. There's a lot of activated charcoal and I might have to rethink that. Let's rethink it a little bit. Okay. And this one will be for the red. Holy crap, holy. And then this one will be for the, just a tiny little bit of brown that we put in. Okay. Actually, maybe less than that. So, how did I come up with all this recipe? Look, I figured out what I wanted. Look, this is a trashed up mess, but um, I ran it through the soap calc told me how much lye I needed, how much water I needed, and how much fragrance oil I could use. Ta-da. SoCal.net. It's your best friend. Okay. Um, so first we're going to put in this gold. Now I've never done this before and I've never seen it done, so I might just be messing my whole life up. But um, I put my fragrance oil in with my, with my mica because sometimes I forget to put the fragrance oil in, but by golly, I never forget to put the mica in, and that's the truth. So, I'm going to stir this up just a little bit. I'm going to stir more than blend. Might give it a little shot. Because I know this is already going to be tan. Um, I just I'm, I'm gonna help it and give it a little bit of gold so it doesn't um, just look like crap. Put my little bronze mica in there. Just like that. Mixing it around. Just a little brown. set these to the side and then we're gonna do the red get all of this out because we want it to be red like a pomegranate not red like um strawberry Wow, look at that color. Hello. Me likey, me likey, oh, me likey on my shirt. That is really great. I dig that a lot. And then the next one we're gonna do is the activated charcoal. Just like that. You know, activated charcoal, I love to use activated charcoal and soap, but sometimes, you know, it will, it will make your tub grubby if you use too much. Nobody likes a grubby toby. Black! Okay. Now, put this over here. Put these over here. Come back to me. So we're gonna take, we're gonna take the, the gold getting a little bit thick so we need to put a little pepper on it and we're going to take the brown and we'll pour it pour it pour it pour it like that scrape it out so your dishes aren't bad my tall skinny mold today. Why? Because I like it! I love this mold. I got it from Nurture Soap. I'm just going to pour this in. Just like that. And that delicious brown will be all swirled in there. Oopie. Set that to the side. Now we're gonna go and do a drop swirl. Now a drop swirl basically means that you just, and it's a skinny mold, so I have to line it up. You wanna pour high so it gets down in that middle, like that. 
And then we're gonna use our red, and we're gonna pour high again. Oh, I do with that, just right down the middle, just once, just once. Okay, I have a lot of extra soap left. So I'm gonna grab one of these. I love these things, these are one pound molds. Um, I got mine from Brambleberry. Um, and I'll just pour this in there. And these will be some groovy bars to send as gifts or, um, and um, to send as gifts or to uh, give as testers, just some fun. pound molds and I'm glad I got them. I got a couple of them. I got two pound molds too and I don't love them. I, lo I don't love, I'll tell you why I don't love them. I don't love them because their sides bellow out when you put soap in them. Hmm. So, let's get our choppy stick in here and we'll just mix this stuff all around. Like that. We don't, want to, we don't want to stir it up too much. We just want to bring the top to the bottom. Like that. Make us a little a couple of swirly babies. We're going to kind of do the same thing on this. We're going to swirl it around just a tiny little bit. We have overfilled our mold and I don't care. Huh. Okay. We are almost done because there's no soap that's complete without glitter. So let's throw some glitter on this bad boy. And I have my gold sparkle shimmer business from Richer Soaps. I'm gonna put that on top of here, just like so, like that, like so. And then I made these little soapy leaves. I said I didn't care, but that was a little bit of a lie. I didn't want to care. How about that? It's just so. So, so we have all that going on for us. I'm gonna spritz it again with this business. And I made some soapy little leaves, like fall time leaves. And I'm just gonna put those on top. Sink them in a little bit. Wherever I can. I'm gonna go back and clean it up. Don't say, oh my god, you just did that, and then you undid it. I know, I know. I'm aware. It's kind of the story of my life. I'm just gonna put these leaves on here. Oh, hello, get in there. Sometimes leaves are so temperamental. I just don't know what they're gonna do next. That's too big. We can put some leaves on top of each other. You know why? Because we're the boss. For the boss of this soap. <laughs> and that's what leaves do, right? They pile up. This may look like poo-poo tomorrow, but today I'm feeling kind of good about it. And that's what it's all about. All right, I think I've done as much damage as I can possibly do to this soap. Oh, apparently not. That's not gonna go anywhere, is it? Yeah, it's gonna go right there. All right, I'm gonna spray this bad boy with some alcohol, and then I might go spray me with some <laughs> in a glass, a pretty glass. Um, it's gonna give it a little spritz. We're gonna get a little more shim shim. 
da 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 And hopefully, this is gonna look at least a little tiny bit like our drawing. And then if this is, if this is fabulous and beautiful, this will, we will do this exact same thing for soap of the month. And I already have eight bars. So I wonder what her chicken dinner. <sighs> Thanks you guys for watching. I sure do appreciate it. I wanna give you an update on my magnetic lash. <laughs> I switched to Moxie Lash, and I really like them. I mean, I really do like them. Sassy is too big for me, but I don't care. I'm still wearing them. So um, it's expensive. I clean mine so they last for a long time. So anyway, that's that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't, somebody's shooting at us. <laughs> Fireworks. If you haven't liked or subscribed to my channel, I sure, man, I sure would appreciate it if you would. I love you Mises to Pieces. Um, we're gonna do another video here in a minute about all the things I wish I knew when I started making soap. And then of course, Soap of the Month videos, Salt of the Month videos are coming up in about a week. So, thanks for watching. Love you Mises to Pieces. Bye bye. Oh, he thought we were done. I forgot to do the cutting. So, um, it's been about 24 hours. We're gonna cut the soap. Um, I pulled it out of the mold already, and um, we're just gonna, I just wanna cut it really quickly so you can see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I like to try to mark them on the outside so we can see. There's the first cut. There's the leaves on the top. And the first cut. So is it exactly like it? Is that thing on the... I think we'll... we'll Sandra's gonna go get the paper for us so we can look. There's one. There's the second one. Leaves on the top. Is it exactly like the picture? Nope. But is it close? Kinda. Am I happy? Yep. There's that pomegranate right in the middle. I dig it. I'm not going to make you watch me cut this whole thing. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And I, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I sure would appreciate it if you would. And um, I've got another video coming up about what I wish I knew when I first got into soaping. So I hope you watch that too. Thanks guys. Love you Mises to Pieces. Um, do something to make yourself happy today. Because your happy matters. Right? Of course right. See you later. Bye.